Hello, welcome to Grow New Plants. So today I'm going to plant some cedar elm seeds. These are some I collected last fall and they're kind of a winged looking seed that they fall off. They, they make tons of seeds and all fall to the ground and I pulled all these. Uh, once they were ripe, I pulled these straight off of the tree and I stored them in a Ziploc baggie and again with several of my trees this year I did not cold stratify these. But I soaked them overnight and they're really plump. I'm gonna pull one out. I'm gonna plant these things in the hole still. But if you can see, that seed looks really good. It looks very viable, but I think they should do fine growing right out of these holes. I'm not gonna take them out of the holes. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and get my soil mixed in here. I'm using my half peat, half perlite, and then my Osmocote slow release fertilizer. This is a 32 cell root maker tray, which if you've watched any of my videos, you know, I pretty much grow everything in the root maker cells. So there's the root pruning, the air root pruning. So now I'll tell you something while I'm doing this about cedar elms. Is they're about the hardiest tree I've ever seen in my life. And when they grow up, they look, you see one from a distance, it looks a lot like a live oak tree but it doesn't have a central leader. It just kind of grows crazy everywhere, but once they're full out and everything, they look very similar to a live oak tree. But the reason I say they're so hardy is you'll see them, if it can find a rock with a little bit of dirt in it, it will grow. These are gonna be, I'm just gonna push them down into the soil like this, trying to find fat ones. So I had a, I used to have a landscaping company and I had a, uh, a property, the guy wanted some trees and I, I knew what his land was like because I'd already put a sprinkler system in for him. And he had white rock, probably about, when she ducked about maybe six to eight inches down under the ground, his property was solid rock, that white chalk rock. And I put the sprinkler system in and I had to hire, I say hire, I rented a rock trencher. It was basically a saw that cut trenches through that rock to put his sprinkler system in. But he wanted some trees, so I had to figure out what would grow in there. And I planted a couple cedar elms back there and literally had to dig the hole in rock, dug the hole out a little bit big, put some a little bit of extra soil around it and those trees did great. I took care of his property for several years after that, so I know that the trees thrived. And it's very common here in Texas, you'll see a lot of your creek beds will have that white rock in them too. And there'll be just a little, little crack in that rock with a little bit of dirt. And one of these seeds will get stuck in there and it'll grow right out of the side of that rock. So they're a very, very hardy tree. If you got a place, now as far as being wet, I don't know. You know, some trees won't take, a lot of trees won't take moisture, you know, if they're just sitting in a, a really wet place. But as far as a dry place, these things thrive and will grow like crazy. So anyway, pretty tough tree. So I'll go ahead and fast forward through the rest of these. Okay, so I got all these in here, so I'm just gonna go in, make sure they're covered up good, and then I'll add just a little bit more soil across the top. And I'm hoping within a month or so, I should start seeing these germinate. I'm planting these a little bit late. If you've been watching many of my videos lately, I, I got started late. The only thing I really got planted early was my live oak trees, and they're already germinating. I've already got probably 30 of those up. So I'm gonna put a little bit more soil across the top and then I will come back and do a follow-up video to this, hopefully in about 30 days, hopefully with some baby cedar elm trees growing up. So that's that. So I'll take these, water them in good, put them on my uh, grow tables 
and we'll see what happens. I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, and watch for the update. Thank you.